Recent years have witnessed worldwide prevalence of public bike-sharing systems, which provide short-term bike rental services with many bike stations scattering over an urban city. Indeed, these bike-sharing systems offer an environmental-friendly solution for the first to the last mile connection and help bridge the gap between existing transportation modes such as subways and bus systems. With the success of the bike-sharing system, most urban cities are planning or have been constructing bike-sharing network expansion to attract more customers. For example, New York City has completed two bike-sharing network expansions since its foundation in 2013. In the earliest stage of the bike station network, there were 329 stations. After the first expansion, in stage 2, the bike system includes 486 stations. In stage 3, there were 617 stations in service after the second expansion. However, despite the significant benefits from bike-sharing network expansion, there are two main challenges for this problem. First, there are no historical bike transition records available in the expansion areas. Second, the station-level bike demand has big variances across the city, which can be impacted by multiple factors, such as time, location, surrounding environment, like point of interest, transportation network, and human mobilities. An accurate bike demand prediction can help bike-sharing system designers estimate how many new customers will be attracted and how much additional operation cost they need to spend on a larger system. In this paper, we study the bike demand prediction problem for bike-sharing system expansion. Indeed, the emergence of multi-source big data enables a new paradigm for enhancing bike demand predictions. Along this line, we exploit multi-source data related to bike-sharing services, such as POI dataset, taxi trip records, and bike transition records. Our proposed method consists of three major sections. First, functional zone-based station clustering. We first partitioned the stations in service area into different functional zones based on our bike clustering algorithm. Second, zone-level bike transition prediction. Then based on the functional zones, we estimate the functional zone bike transitions. Third, station-level bike demand prediction. The station-level bike demand prediction is to distribute the inner zone bike check-in and check-out into individual stations based on their covered resources. For more information about our paper, welcome to contact us. Thank you for watching this video.